so I found this lock right here and now that we have the um, the mod installed all we have to do is just press the unlock button and instead of us having to solve it just wait and let it do it on its own and it automatically unlocks it and the door will open everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right six and a half hours later yo 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 Auto skip a la Hamora mini game. All right, this is for Hogwarts Legacy, and this is going to skip that whole little lock game. All right, this one is created by VTLI. All right, shout out to the creator. When you get down to this download page, make sure that you read the full description because we are going to need a requirement for this to work. We're going to have to download this E, this UE4SSX input. All right, all you got to do is click on right here, and it automatically will prompt you to download it. So make sure you download this. And after you download that, go ahead and select the files tab right here. Then you want to select the manual download button to download the Alamora mini game file. Okay. So once you have both of those downloaded, it should look something like this on my left hand side. I have two downloads, which is the skip Alamora mod. Then I have the UE4SS. Okay. And on my right hand side, I have my Hogwarts directory opened up. Now what we want to do is navigate to where these files are going to go. So let's go ahead and head into our Phoenix folder. Then open up the bin binaries folder. And then we are going to open up our Windows 64 folder. And inside the Windows 64 folder, we are going to be placing our files from this folder. So let's go back to our downloads. <coughs> Let's go back to our downloads and open up the UE4SS folder. Inside that folder, we are going to take all of these files that's inside that folder. Everything except the README, changelog, and the API. So pretty much everything in here except uh, these two text documents in the README. All right, we're going to drag and drop everything that I have highlighted. Let me go ahead and blow this up for you. All right, take a good look at what everything I have highlighted. And we're going to drag and drop all of that over here to our Windows 64 folder. I already have it, as you can see. Once that has been dragged and dropped, go ahead and scroll up and look for the mods folder and then open up that mods folder. OK, and we're going to leave this open. Let's go back to our downloads. Press the back arrow. Now we want to go into the skip Alahamara mod folder. Open that one up. Inside that folder, we are going to have our Skip Alhamora mini game folder right here. What we want to do is highlight this folder. Then we're going to drag and drop this folder over to our mods folder. All right. I already have it. Once that has been dragged and dropped, we are all done with installing our Skip the Alhamora mini game. We can go ahead and minimize any windows that we might have open and run the game. All right, once you have spawned into the game, what you want to do is, of course, find um, the locks that you can open up. A lot of these locks will be on um, higher levels, which you have to do more requirements in order to uh, be able to unlock the level two locks. So right now I'm at a level one. So I found this lock right here. And now that we have the, um, the mod installed, all we have to do is just press the unlock button. And instead of us having to solve it, just wait and let it do it on its own. And it automatically unlocks it and the door will open so this is perfect man uh, especially if you are playing the game um, and you haven't beat the game yet and you still have a whole lot of locks to unlock you definitely would I definitely would suggest to install this so make uh, everything a whole lot easier because those games could be um, those, th those little mini games could be quite uh, consuming time consuming you know what I mean so what Rebellion. do we have inside of here? Not much, right? Nope. Okay. Didn't have much in here. There's a little bag, I think. Nope. There's no bag. All right. <laughs> Didn't really have too much in here, but it was perfect that we found this lock. All right. So there's plenty of locks around. If you see right here, this is uh, level three. I have to get my character up more to unlock that one but there are plenty of these locks all around everywhere let's go to this one okay this is level three also all right 
So I'm gonna go ahead and look for more locks to unlock, but we're gonna end the tutorial here. But if this helped y'all out to install it and better understand it, or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video Rebellion. with y'all friends that are in the modding Hogwarts Legacy. It's games and graphics. I'm out of here until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.